welcome to Guns and Game. Today we're gonna present you a review of the Beretta A400 Extreme Plus. We're gonna show its features and what comes inside of the box. Beautiful box by the way. And I hope you just stay tuned. So, yeah, this is the box of the A400 Extreme Plus. Beautiful box, by the way. Let's see what is inside. Nice locks. Got a handle here, one on the top of the box. Good to handle it. So, what is in the box? Wow, beautiful. Nice sign of the Extreme Plus. This is the 28 inch barrel. Comes with a little plastic here with the Beretta brand and the gun beautiful gun pretty light so what comes inside of it I have another adjust for the comb to extend or Dimish the pull length of the trigger. If you have longer arms or shorter arms, can adjust with two of them. I have one on the gun already, one inch or 25 millimeters. That fits me well. Or you can put the one of half an inch or 12.5 millimeters on if you have a shorter arm or take it off. It works fine for my wife without them. So yeah, a little bit of adjustment you can use. Comes also with the chins to adjust the drop. Comes with this, or you can put it on to your gun right here. And on top, comes with four chokes, four different chokes with a cylinder, Improved cylinder, modified that is on the barrel, full choke or improved modified and the full choke. Also comes in a nice wrench which you tie and remove the chokes. Yeah, something that you don't need to buy. Comes with the Beretta oil for your, for your gun. And let's Builded it up. And so first, I insert my my plug out of the action. So in this way, I won't damage the case. If you leave it on, you can leave it on. It will fit inside of the case. But that, as you can see it on the top camera, it kind of leave a mark on it. So. I remove it and put it on the side here so it won't damage the case. Beautiful gun guys. And let's open it up. It's a quarter lap to remove the cap. Can insert then the barrel. Make sure that everything is aligned. Whoops. And also quarter left to close it. Look at this. Easy like that. Action. And here it is. Beautiful gun. Yeah. This gun has broke me a lot of clays already. I used it for hunting ducks, geese, snow geese. And it has been a 
axle and two for the job. Things I would change on it, well, the sight is red. I would rather use a green sight I tried to buy. Different sights, but only the Beretta would fit here, the Beretta green sight. So, didn't bought that yet. Uh, it has a tall rib here, so it helps you to shoulder. For me, it fits perfect. And the most important, right guys, it fits you perfect. The pulley length with the adjustable, see, it fits perfect on my fingers. So you can adjust that, you can adjust the drop of the comb with the chins, and you can adjust the length by inserting one or even two. You want to insert two. The only problem is that they give you a little screw here that will be enough for one of them so they have spare tools uh, spare pieces but you still will need to request one for beretta if you if you want to use both inserts on the comb because it comes only with screw for the short and one screw that is inside here for the long one inch so yeah you can just email them they will send it over to you the gun the gun gets a shell from two three quarters three and three and a half so yeah all around you can mix shells here like you probably saw in other videos you can mix shells and shoot you don't need to worry for it um, it works perfect under certain uh, uh, conditions that you wouldn't even expect that a semi-auto will cycle on. So yeah, I've hunted a uh, waterfall. Uh, I had it on the water and it shot perfect. I had it uh, uh, when I was shooting waterfall on minus 12. Water was freezing. Friend of mine had a frozen action and I was shooting perfect. Yeah, it gets wet sometimes. It, 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 a lot of humidity and it never failed me on cycles so yeah you can count on on it cycling all the time uh, it's pretty light uh, it's not wood i uh, it's a little more resistant uh, on the hunting on the hunting condition i i didn't got any scratches yet and and it's it has a nice grip or with the uh, kind of rubber here nice grip for your hands a nice fluffy pad here for your face it has a kickoff system excellent recoil absorption I, I i shoot generally six box of shells when i go clay shooting and i tell you what you don't feel a thing so yeah you don't get the muscle fatigue or any of that with this kickoff so that's why I've been using to break clays. Uh, I didn't buy yet a, 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 a shell catcher, but I'm thinking of it. I'm try, trying to find something that would adapt or fit my gun. Didn't find it yet, but besides that, it's an excellent clay gun. It cycles super fast, flawless. So yeah, this is the A400, my gun of choice. Super light, nice grip here in the front too. Also rubberish. So yeah, light grip, shoulder super fine. The kickoff system works perfect. So this is my review on it. I really recommend it guys. Uh, the only thing I added to the gun was a full choke, full extended choke here. Um, cold black goose. When I do hunt for geese or snow geese, I like to add that up because the improved modified and the full choke that comes with it doesn't accept any steel shot. So if you're shooting something farther away and you need a, a, a full choke for it, add up a full choke because your chokes won't take steel. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video subscribe like comment underneath and i hope to hear from you guys and 
This is my review of the A400 Extreme Plus. And you're thinking about buying a hunting gun, this is it. If you're thinking about a clay gun, well, guess what? Consider this one as well. This is guns in game and be safe out there and enjoy.